Gut health and acne. If you're sick and tired of flare-ups of zits making you feel like you have to hide your face, then this video is for you. Now, there are many factors that contribute to acne, from dirty pillowcases to excessively touching your face to hormonal imbalances, but one of the biggest root causes of acne is actually poor gut health. And especially if you have leaky gut, acne is a super common side effect. And this is because of a couple different reasons that I'll share in just a minute. I'm Kelsey Ale. I'm a gut health specialist and nutritional therapist at KelseyAle.com. I help people heal their guts and recover from chronic illness like digestive disorders and mood disorders using food and food-based supplements. And I put out new videos every week about these topics. So if that sounds like something you are interested in learning more about, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Let's be honest, acne is so annoying. When you have acne, you feel like you can't go out in public, like you have to hide your face or wear really heavy makeup to cover it up. You can't wear clothes that show your back or your chest if that's where you happen to be breaking out. And acne can be really physically painful but it's not incurable and you don't have to resort to using prescriptions, um, medications, or creams to clear it up. Because a huge part of resolving your acne naturally involves cleaning up your gut health, so not only can you clear up your breakouts, but also prevent future breakouts. Because poor gut health may actually be the root cause of your acne. And if you're using medications or creams that just treat the pimples themselves, you're not actually healing and resolving the root cause that's driving your acne. Let's start by clearing up what acne is. We can define acne as a chronic inflammatory skin condition, meaning that even though it manifests as blackheads and pimples and whiteheads, it's really generated by inflammation in your system. This can be a result of your body trying to push toxins out of your system, but the detox pathways are blocked, or it can just be your body's reaction to an inflammatory compound in your system. So what the heck is causing all this inflammation? Well, gut infections are actually one form of poor gut health that can lead to breakouts and acne. And this is because the microbes that are causing the infection, whether it's a yeast or a fungus or a bacteria, they release chemicals into your system that generate systemic inflammation. And one way this inflammation can show up in your body is as pimples or acne. Some great examples of gut infections that can cause acne are candida or SIBO. Now, Candida is a fungal infection that can cause digestive symptoms like bloating and cramping and fatigue. And SIBO is a bacterial infection that can cause similar symptoms. And both of these infections can also cause you to experience acne and breakouts of pimples. So gut infections can be a really common cause of acne. Also, most gut infections end up causing leaky gut. And one of the most common side effects of leaky gut is food sensitivities. And one of the most common reactions to a food sensitivity is acne. On top of food sensitivities, leaky gut also allows other compounds and toxins that should just stay inside the gut to be flushed out. It allows them to circulate through the bloodstream, which again, generates inflammation. So in addition to the toxins stimulating a general inflammation response in the body, your body is also gonna to try to push these toxins out and your skin is one of the main ways our body has to release and detox and let go of compounds that aren't beneficial to the body. So if you're not properly hydrated or if your detox pathways are blocked, this can lead to acne and pimples. So leaky gut causes inflammation and um, causes more toxins to circulate in your system, also causes food sensitivity. So all of these things can lead to increased experiences of breakouts and acne. Even hormonal acne can be related to poor gut health because your gut is a really important site where used hormones are broken down so they can be excreted from the body. If your gut health and microbiome are out of whack, it means your body can't effectively conjugate or break down these used hormones, which can lead to hormonal imbalances, which can potentially cause hormonal acne. 
Now, if you are watching this video and you're experiencing acne right now, I want you to take a second and think about what other symptoms you're experiencing. Are you feeling bloated? Do you have food sensitivities? Are you experiencing constipation or diarrhea? Any of these other symptoms can be an indication that poor gut health is driving your acne. So if that feels relevant to you, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below. So what can you do to start improving your gut health to start to resolve your acne naturally? Well, in addition to external factors like regularly washing your pillowcase and washing your eye mask if you wear one to sleep with, of course washing your face regularly and trying to avoid excessively touching your face, there are several things you can do to start to support better gut health to start to clear up your acne pretty quickly. Well, one of the first things I recommend doing is aiming to drink two to three liters of water a day. And I know this might sound like a lot, but remember one potential cause of your acne is that your body is trying to flush out toxins and it's not able to do this effectively. By increasing your hydration, you will help the body flush out toxins much more effectively, um, which will keep your skin clear. I also recommend adding a pinch of high quality sea salt or Himalayan salt to your water. This increases the electrolyte content content of the water and helps you hydrate more effectively so you're not just peeing out all the water you drink. <laughs> Second tip is to eat as many vegetables as you can possibly fit into your body. And this is because the fiber found in vegetables helps feed and nourish beneficial microbes in your gut and can increase your microbial diversity. And I have another video where I go more in depth on my top five recommended gut healing foods to eat every day. And I will link that video at the end of um, this video. <laughs> tip three is more to do with your diet. Um, and that is to cut out sugar and dairy. Sugar is known to feed microbes that could potentially be perpetuating a gut infection that you have going on. Sugar also just generally causes systemic inflammation, so both gut infections and systemic inflammation lead to increased instances of acne, so we'll cut out sugar. And studies have also shown an increased instance of acne breakout that correlates with in increased instances of dairy consumption, so you'll wanna cut out dairy also. Finally, I really strongly encourage you to add in a high quality spore based probiotic. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to help build a healthy microbiome and start to crowd out any pathogens or bad microbes that could be contributing to your acne. And I linked my personal recommended brand below the video. Now, if you implement all four of these recommendations, increasing hydration, increasing your vegetable consumption, cutting out dairy and sugar, and adding in a high quality probiotic, you should start to see a difference in as little as four to six weeks. Now, if you do follow these recommendations for four to six weeks and you don't notice a total improvement in your acne, then you need to go one step further and follow a therapeutic gut healing protocol. I have an eight week guided gut healing program that you can learn more about when you click the link below. It guides you step by step through the foundations that it takes to build a truly healthy gut. And if your symptoms are really bad and you want immediate customized answers, then you definitely need to get a gut health test done and most likely a food sensitivity test as well. And that's exactly what I offer when I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. I have a link below that you can click to schedule a discovery call and we can hop on the phone and chat and see if we're a good fit to work together. Now, if you found the information in this video helpful, please, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. As promised, I'm also linking my top five recommended gut healing foods to eat every day video. You can also check out video one of my gut health and series, which is about gut health and anxiety. And remember, this is the second video in a mini series that I'm making called Gut Health And. So make sure you check in next week for the next episode titled Gut Health and Weight Loss. I'll see you back here next Wednesday. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.